Hi everyone, Aldvar here, and welcome to this Let's Play. Well, it is right in the middle of a Delta Evasion event, and it's, well, middle of phase four. Quests one, two, three, and one, two, and three have been opened, so let's do quest two. I'm kind of on the fence of how, to, how hard to do this right now. I'm not properly equipped, so I'm like, Debating if I should go for elite or just go hard. I think I'll try hard. If it'd be any better equipped, I'll just go for elite, but whatever. Buff and go. So I've done this quest on uh, Lamania, so I kind of know what to expect. But I haven't actually done it the, uh, on the live server. I guess we'll find out. This Caneth power facility is clearly not accepting visitors. You'll need to fight your way in to find out more. I still haven't figured out why is it that they don't take damage and suddenly take damage. I'm not really sure what the mechanic is. I say they just like have a shield. Either that, or maybe it's just a bunch of damage reduction. I don't know. An alarm sounds, and automated defenses come to life. Disabling the shielding has triggered the security constructs. That uh, Iron Defender, Iron Golem, tried to cast a spell against me and he fell over, so that was fun. Let's hope I don't fall into this instant death stuff. I do have Divine Intervention on, but A, I don't know if it'll work against this. It should, but you never know. And B, uh, if it does work, how do I get out of the pit? I wish they would have an option for a hardcore that like drains this pool and then just makes it so it's like super deep. So if you do fall, you have to climb a massive ladder and basically the penalty isn't dying, but it's just a big waste of time. So you still don't want to fall, but if you, know, if you do, I don't know, some massive wall puzzle or something, you can turn off like drain the lava or something to drain the sludge. I mean, if you hit your lag while doing those jumps, you're dead. So these uh, purple orb things, you don't want to get hit by them, but they're not the end of the world. Okay, come on, start taking damage. There you go. Looks like they just have like massive damage reduction, like some kind of a stone skin or something. And once you hit a certain amount, you just go through it. One of these guys, Cyanic Thralls. I lean down, I can disable these traps. I don't know if they're disableable, but even if they are, unless they're like a lever or a switch, I'm not disabling them.
That thing's an optional. I know that from Lamania though. Preview 2 or something like that. Well, at least on a hard, doesn't seem to be too hard. With both levers pulled, the security door on Hope the there's not some kind of famous last words block. instance. Come on, damage reduction. There we go. Was just PRR and MRR, and my uh, I guess it's my uh, I guess my effects are bypassing it. Then, what is this one? Legendary Epic Ward. I don't know. At the end of the hallway, strange orbs form in thin air and begin to fly towards you. Ignore them. Let's move on. Cyanic Thrall's gotta go. It's gonna buff everything around him. Gotta say I'm not a big fan of the Cyanic Thralls, but on the other hand, they're not the worst thing. At least they're not a bunch of soul of cruelty or something like that. The only problem is when you have like multiple of them and they buff each other, then you're in trouble. Yeah. Get rid of the trash, I guess. Hey, stop moving. Okay, fine. Focus on the second one. I know there's an optional here. Let's see if I can get it. Activated the wrong, uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> wrong action boost. Oh well. Or maybe it's the right action boost because now I can chase him down. This opens up the hallway. Yeah, well, found the secret door. Collectible. Control panel. First things first, the important stuff. Maybe if he doesn't hit too hard, I'll actually take a picture when he's active. It's very annoying that you can't really see the damage you're doing. Because it like gets stuck in the ceiling. Well, his health bar is going down so I know I'm damaging him. That's basically it.
Oh no, he killed my Taros. <laughs> I'll just summon another one by attacking him. Well, at least on Hardy, he doesn't seem to be too, uh, too tough. He does take a lot of damage, though. I wonder if there's like a safe spot where you can stand where you don't get hit by that purple orb. Not that it's doing too much damage, but still. Maybe some corner or something like that, I don't know. Okay, come on. In a year now. Round <laughs> charges ready. Yeah, the flaw of this fight right now is you can't see how much damage you're doing, so I don't even know if I'm like under damage reduction or what. At least he doesn't do tons of damage, so whatever. I'll be fine. That's promised. Hopefully there's some good screen capture in here someplace. Okay, got him. All right. I was like wondering what happened to the chest, and then I remembered that the chest is the optional chest back in the hallway. Let's go get it. Be careful not to fall here. Hope I can pick it. I mean, to do that boss fight and to be rewarded with a locked chest kind of seems cheap. I mean, I got one card. Well, I guess I'm going to turn it into shards by selling it. Doesn't seem too hard to jump over the purple orbs. Well, if you got your max jump, shouldn't be too hard. Well, I guess we move on. Use a shrine. Hmm. 
Yeah, here we're supposed to fight this Kenneth Crystal. You enter the power relay. The telltale sound of a magical barrier forming above you indicates that the path forward is now blocked. Experience tells you that if you destroy the power crystal in this room, the barrier will be dispelled. As the power crystal begins to weaken, nearby devices start to overload. I'm not really sure what the gimmick with this fight is, it's just stand here and kill a power crystal and try not to die to the trap, so... Okay. Got all the stacks of vulnerable I can go for. Yeah, I'm still not sure what all the different buffs are over here. One thing though, might as well do it while I got it. Go to here, go to feats. Scroll down to attack. Drop this over here, turn it on, collect this. MRR and PRR, fine. Epic Ward. Can't be charmed for long periods, okay. Okay, no percentage damage. The name of the destruction, the vulnerable, and the stacks of uh, acid. Uh, okay. I don't know if you have to pull these. Uh, the valve turns. Levers. Some of the overloaded devices stop malfunctioning. This will not disable the devices completely, but will temporarily make them safe to be near. I guess that lever turns down. Oh, whatever. Please tell me there's a shrine here. Yes, thank you. Well, as always, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. I don't get shot into the acid. <laughs> the manager of this facility stands on the far side of the room with an illithid directly behind. Clearly, everyone in this place has been mind-controlled. Time to defeat the Mind Flayer and break its grip. The illicit points, and the Constructs attack. Meanwhile, large spheres of mental energy begin to materialize throughout the chamber. Basically, got rid of, need to get rid of the trash. So you can actually just like zigzag between the different locations like to avoid the damage or you can jump over it or you can just walk through it doesn't seem to be very damaging probably on reaper if you have don't have a lot of self-healing it's probably more of a problem 
I want to be careful of the way I'm angling myself so I don't get knocked back too bad. Whoops. I just survived that because of divine intervention. Now I'm afraid of getting shot again. Divine Intervention back on. We can now proceed. I'm gonna make sure that I've got enough space behind me so if I do get knocked back, like over here, I've got the whole side. And it's not just like... Uh, the width. I want the length to be behind me. The mind flayer teleports down from the okay. safety of the protective bubble. Mind flayer, and here comes the trouble. I gotta get him as fast as possible. As far as I can tell, you don't have to kill both the Titan and the Mind Flayer, just the Mind Flayer. Come on, die faster, faster. Watch out for my uh, charisma damage. Too much of it. I'll become incapacitated. Ah! Don't get stuck. Come on, just die, 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 die. Woo! Wow. This guy looks a little bit more alert than the other one. So. Okay, hopefully there's something there. Fine. Chest. Hey, look. Wow, that's a lot of cards. Four, two, two, six. Still, I'm just going to drop this all in the auction house, but okay. And let's see. XP. 22 minutes. Not bad. Epic card. Didn't die, thankfully. Well, that was nice. Yeah. Well, right now the other third evasion is going on and phase four is active. So I'm thinking I might go and check out some of the evasion, uh, invasion points and see if they're still active and if they need help anyways. But uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like subscribe. And yeah, I'm going to go and check out those invasion points. But that's going to be for the extended cut for founding members anyway. So take care. Bye.